Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going through how to use the EQ in FL Studio. The one I'm going to be using today is the Fruity Parametric EQ2 that I have opened right here in the bottom left corner. This one's probably my favorite. It's very easy to use. Uh, pretty sure it comes with every version of FL Studio and I use it on pretty much all of my projects. It's really nice. So I got an audio file loaded up here and let's just see how it sounds with no EQ. Okay, so you can see we have a lot of white noise in the upper end here. That's this visualization. So if I go over to this button here, and just hold down and slide it down here. You can, you can hear that that white noise has gone away because I'm cutting out all the frequencies um, from 10K and up. That's this, it has a little chart here on the bottom telling you which frequencies you're editing. So that would take them all out right there. And let's go to maybe a more intense part of the music right here. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, so this is a big low end area. There's a lot of low end over here. So maybe you'd want to tone that a little bit. You can bring it down like this. And if you want to make the, these more precise, you can see this is two, this pink one here. If we were to go over, we can use the slider to move it up and down. This one will move it left and right. And then this one can make it more flat or you can make it super narrow like that if you want to really target a specific set of frequencies. So maybe we'll keep it like, Maybe about there. So that makes it much wider. If you want to cover a wider range of frequencies and tone it down, you can do that. And basically, this is a great way to shape the sound file. You can really play around with this, find out what sounds the best certain frequencies you might not want at all, like this high-end stuff here that I completely took out. I don't really want any of that to be in the music, so I just took it all the way down. But if you just want something to be less prominent or even more prominent, say you want like this middle section more prominent, you can raise it up a little bit and it'll be, these frequencies will be louder. And you can also uh, set presets. So if we go here to this little drop down menu, go to presets, default is going to reset everything. Three bands brings it to only three instead of uh, seven. Let's see. And then it has some different frequency cuts here. So this will take out the very top end and the low end. Here we have kick. So just different presets you can use kind of messing messing around with it really fun to experiment with this and then we have hq here this is high quality over sampling view band tokens so this just makes these appear and disappear if you don't want these to be in your way and that's the basics for this eq now another tool that i like to use Let's go over to the mixer. Let's say I didn't really want to mess with any of this and I just wanted like a more simple version that kind of does everything. And for that, we can go to Sound Goodizer. That's this little box right here. Sorry if it's hard to see, it's pretty small and I can't make it any bigger. So what this does, it adds compression, limiting, and EQ all in one. And it's just one knob that goes up and down and you get four different presets to choose from. So it's a lot more simple and kind of does it automatically for you. So let's see what this sounds like. We'll try the first preset A and just have it halfway there. And we'll get rid of that really high pitch noise again. Thank you. 
I'll just go back to default and bring that down. There we go. Maybe bring that down a little bit too. There we go. Very nice. So you can hear as I'm adjusting this, it's changing um, those three different parameters. So the uh, EQ limiting and compression. And now I switch the preset to B. Switching the preset really, it really changes it. So you kind of want to just go through and listen to each one, see what sounds the best. But this can actually be really helpful. Um, I've used this a few times in my projects. So you can hear it's like, especially the EQ is emph emphasizing different areas of the, the frequency spectrum. And I actually think the B is the best here. It kind of kind of gives it that nice warm sound that I'm looking for with this track. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. These are my two favorite tools to use for EQ. There is another EQ plugin, just EQ, Fruity Parametric EQ. It's just a more basic version of the EQ2. It's like the earlier version of it. I much rather use EQ2. It's just the same thing, but better. So yeah, um, Sound Goodizer and Fruity Parametric EQ2. Those are what I use. So play around with those and have fun. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.